Hey guys, it's Joseph here from GL DJ UK and welcome to an American DJ gig zone. Today we're going to be checking out the American DJ Mega 24 Pros using them as a colour wash in stage lighting applications. Now behind me we've got the set for a production we're doing at the moment. We're doing a production of the Caucasian Chalk Circle by Brecht. Uh, so the set behind me we've got Steel Deck and we're currently using the Mega 24 Pros as a colour wash down lighting on the stage. Now there's loads of features on the Mega 24 Pros that make them perfect for stage lighting. So let's take a closer look at what these things can do. We're currently in the control room at the moment. We're using an ETC Ion lighting desk to control the Mega 24 Pros along with all the other lights using DMX. Now one really fantastic feature of these lights is the ability to change the colour. Now using RGBs you can mix the red, the green and the blue LEDs to create pretty much whatever colour you want. Now here on the lighting desk we've got a feature here of a virtual colour wheel. So we can pick any colour out of this list just by using the touch screen and we can change the colour on stage. The ability to change the colour of the light is fantastic for me as a lighting designer. It allows me to be a lot more creative without having restraints that sometimes standard stage lights would have. If I wanted to achieve the same effect using non-LED fixtures, it'd be much more difficult. I would need to have a setup like this, where I have standard stage lights, multiples of them, all with different coloured gels in, so that I can mix the colours like that. The problem with that is, I need to have a lot more lights up in my lighting rig, which takes up more space, and also more time to rig them. Because these fixtures use LEDs, they draw very little power, which is a lifesaver in here when we've got loads of other generic fixtures drawing all of our power. In fact, all those lights you see up there are running off one standard main socket. Now thanks to the IEC link feature built into the fixtures, I can take my power out of the fixture and into the next one, linking them together using an IEC link cable. Now this feature is brilliant because it means I can save on my cabling and makes power distribution so much easier. All I do is take a standard IEC male to female lead, go out of the first fixture into the second and daisy chain that along like you would for DMX say. Daisy chain that all along through all the rest of my fixtures. Now one of my favourite features is how bright these lights are. They use 24 1 watt LEDs which gives them a really bright output. I mean, here in the theatre we've got loads of other generic lighting fixtures, generic stage lights that range from 500 watts all the way up to 1000 watts and these things are able to compete really well on the stage over the top of all the other stage lights. A really good thing about using LED fixtures is they don't output any heat. Compared to the stage lights we have up here, these things run completely cool, which makes it much more comfortable for your actors and for the audience. And the DMX makes this light perfect for use in theatre, allowing us to control all the colour parameters right from the lighting desk. So tonight is the third and the final performance of the show. These things always go so quickly, it felt like only yesterday where we were talking to the director about the possible lighting we could use on the show. Um, so yeah, I've really enjoyed using the LED wash because it's allowed me to be so much more creative with my lighting design. I mean, just the ability to change the colour allows me just to change the mood and the feel on stage. I can, as a lighting designer, show things about the plot and the characters that aren't maybe as obvious uh, within the within the action on stage. I can show a mood change through lighting to show someone's a, a character's inner feelings without them having to show it physically on the outside. So we actually filmed the show last night, so what I'm going to do is finish off the video with a couple of clips showing you how I use the lighting in the show.